Yeah. Okay. Hey. What's up, Nathan? How's it going? Okay. So this is how we're going to do this for now, for a little while. For I don't know how long. Nobody does. Uh, yeah, whenever it's your regular lesson time, I'm going to upload a video and you can watch it and play along to it. And that'll be your lesson. And then your mom can Venmo me that money or PayPal or Cash App or whatever, whatever it is. I don't care how I get the money. Anyways is good ways to get money. <sighs> yeah, so it's going to be a little bit weird, but it's going to be fine. And this is my setup. I know you've never seen this before. I don't know what you imagined, but I just have this 11-year-old uh, Yamaha electronic drum kit. That's my thing. Not everybody can have a 32-piece drum set like you have. <laughs> That's amazing, man. Not everybody can have a gong. That's just how it is. Some folks cannot have a gong in a dedicated music room in their house with a fog machine and a strobe light and professional soundproofing. That is, you gotta know that that's unusual. But it's great, man. I love, I love coming over there and playing those drums. I love it. But these are my drums and I play these sometimes. I just keep them here in my garage and I come out, actually that's not even, to tell you the truth, it's not even my garage anymore. I think I told you that, did I tell you that? My, my wife uh, kicked me out of the house like, it's gotta be almost a year ago. And, yeah, it's gonna be a year next month. Yeah, and so I have no other place to keep my drums so I keep them here in what used to be my garage. And I have a key to the garage and I can come out here sometimes. You know, I have to clear it first. I have to be like, can I come by tomorrow? It is definitely not as good as your setup. <laughs> not even close. I have to get permission to come and visit my electronic drum set, which is 11 years old. And so that's not. Oh yes, you. I yeah. You knew that my wife kicked me out because that night I came by your place and I asked your parents if I could stay in one of their many, many, many extra rooms. <laughs> and you were there. I remember you were there for that conversation. And by the way, I totally get why they said no. I totally get it. They didn't know me very well at that time. And I didn't, it was not smart of me to show up and ask them while being so obviously drunk. I was obviously very visibly drunk. And I do remember too, and I'm sure you remember that they asked me like 10 times how I lost that tooth. And I honestly did not know. I mean, I was not trying to be like, evasive I truly did not know how I lost a tooth which is bad like you should you you, you got to know how you lost a tooth so uh, that was fine that they said no it makes total total sense and it was not cool of me to show up with all my stuff packed in my Pontiac Aztec like I was gonna move in that night and they were right to call that presumptuous which is a a great word too. I love that word. I think that might have been the first time I heard that word, but I use it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, don't be presumptuous. So yes. Okay. I keep my drums in not my garage, but my ex-wife's garage, and which she shares with her new fiance, Christo, which sounds like a magician's name, but he's just a real estate agent and a dork, and uh, also the lead singer of my former band. Just. Be advised, young budding drummer, that drummers are extremely replaceable. If you throw a cup of hot tea in your lead singer's face, he will tell you you're out of the band and he will mean it. It's not definitely not gonna be like a heat of the moment, take it back tomorrow type of thing. You really are out and chances are that they'll have a new drummer by the end of the week. So keep that in mind. Maybe turn this off and learn to play the bass. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <sighs> Girls dig drummers. Okay? Right behind guitarists and lead singers and keyboardists. And if you could play the flute, oh man. This dude I knew that could play the flute, I don't know if your mom, your mom probably watches these before she passes them on to you. Maybe I shouldn't talk all about that dude who played the flute and basically he had his hands full. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that was just him. Okay, let's do some drumming. Should we do some drumming? Um, yeah, let's do it. And it, 
in fairness, you know, our in-person sessions have quite a bit of small talk too. So I'm just, I'm just replicating normally what, you know, we get together and we talk about our week, right? Only this time it has to be a monologue. I don't get to hear about your ski vacations and your space program, summer camp, and meeting the rock. I, but anyway, I hope you're up to cool stuff. I hope cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's do some drumming. Um, all right, Realistic Rock, page 13. I'm not going to go over your snare rudiments. You know what you need to do there. You just need to do it, okay? And I'll know if you don't. All right, so we're just starting on number eight, top of 13. And this one looks easy, and it is easy, but it's a little hard. Here we go. Watch. One. That's it, but you see a little arrow over the first snare beat? That's an accent. Do you hear it? So you gotta do that. That's all, that's the only trick on that one. It's pretty easy, but I want you to do it again and again and again and again and again. I want you to do it a million times until it's in your muscle memory, right? Remember we talked about muscle memory. That's what allowed me to beat the crap out of those guys that broke into my Pontiac Aztec when I was sleeping in there, even though I was so asleep, I don't even know how many ambience I took. Like if I take one and it doesn't work, I will take another one and then at that point, I don't know what I'm doing and the chances that I'm gonna take a third or a fourth, there's no, there's no way of knowing. So I could have had as many as, I could have had infinite ambience that night, but I know I had two at least. And those guys broke into the car and I don't know what they had in mind, but I beat the crap out of it. But I didn't do it, my muscles did. That was muscle memory because my brain was out, 100% out. So that's muscle memory. You want your muscles to play the drums, not your brain. You want to use your brain for whatever. I get a lot of productive thinking done when I'm playing the drums because my muscles are playing the drums. I could be here like, oh man, do I have to get those sores on my thighs checked out by a doctor? Because this does not seem like the time to go to a doctor for a minor thing. But then again, it might not be minor, you know. Whatever point is you could you can drum and think at the same time you don't have to you think about your drumming because you taught your muscles to do it all right now number nine is very easy it's basically the same thing except you're going to hit the bass on the on the second four so it's one two three one two three four and then it's tricky when you repeat it one two three one two three four four. you just got to be on the one you got to be you're leaving off on the four, and you gotta be on the one. Do that one again, do it a million times. And then if you're really feeling brave, you could try number 10, but number 10 is a brain bender. That all of a sudden goes from pretty easy, pretty easy to what? What? It gets hard. That gets tricky, but you can do that. Okay. Uh, I know that seems like a real short lesson, but we're not doing the snare rudiments. You have to do those, okay? And I seriously, at the end of this, if I see you and your hands are slow, I'm gonna know you didn't do your snare rudiments. And you remember, fast hands, great drummer, slow hands, total bummer. You need fast, you gotta get them fast, right? I wish I, was, I wish I was there to see your face when I just did that, because I'm sure you're sitting there like, that was a paradiddle. Anyway, I didn't even warm up. Doesn't sound like good. And these don't have, these don't, they don't have the thing that real drums have. Okay, that's it. That's what you're going to do. Um, yeah, tell your mom to Venmo me that money, please. And also, by the way, you could tell your mom and dad that if they need anything done at this weird, this weird time, I can, I can do all kinds of things. I mean, playing drums is my only skill skill, but I, I'm willing to do anything. I'm fearless, and I can take a punch, and I have pretty good balance, and I can sometimes get my hands on things that grown-ups are looking for. So you could pass that on. You could say it just like that to your, or if your mom is watching, I can get my hands on certain things. Sometimes. Just, just ask. All right. That's it. Done. Dude, be healthy.
Take this Kenora virus seriously, because it's the real deal. Brush your teeth. And I will see you at this exact same time next week. Later, Nathan.